We live? I don't even know if we're live. Okay, I think we're live. Okay, so what's up, guys? I'm uh just spend a little time in my backyard. It's a nice, like, nice warm hundred degrees right now. Feels really good. Kind of warms up the body without having to do much. So I'm about to go out to dinner. Had a very full active day. Shot a really cool cooking video. I'm excited to. Um, it's getting produced for me, and I'm excited to share with you guys. So, um, I'm going to just be doing a little light movement right now, just to stimulate my appetite. Um, you can do this after a long day at work. You can do this in the morning to wake up. Um, you can do this just to take a break in your day. Um, you can, it's just, it's just like, like, use sometimes movement instead of thinking, oh, I got to work out, I have to do all this fitness. It's just like, your body is meant to move, right? Your body is meant to be active. Your body is... A, a, it's going to do what you do with it, right? So it's the idea of you don't stop playing because you get old. You get old because you stop playing. So I'm just going to show you guys some easy stuff. All you need is a, a floor space. We might do a little bit on the wall. This is going to be about 15 or 20 minutes of movement. It's all you need sometimes to put the body and the mind into a different state, to bring yourself up, to feel good, to refocus, to take your mind off. I always say anything that can get you away from your phone, even though I'm using my phone right now, is going to be more of the activities that you want to do. So this is going to be something where I'm not going to be checking my phone for 15 or 20 minutes easy, other than maybe to set my music. And then we're going to um, go just, uh, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit smaller space. And I got some music, put on whatever music you like. Hopefully Facebook lets me post this even after I use somebody else's music. So I've got my foam roller and stuff here, but I'm not going to be using those right now. That will save that for another day. Real basic, real light. Move around on my knees. You'll see some things that definitely inspired from yoga, but it's not yoga. It's not just stretching. It's moving my body. Loosening my joints, stimulating blood flow, raising my heart rate, raising my respiration rate, and then some more static positions. Some movement, some static positions. Think about that your joints, in your hips, in your shoulders especially, are round. Ankles. Also more round knees, more linear, elbows more linear. So we want to work all those things. We want to work around and we want to work linear. Linear side to side, linear front to back, linear angle. Going from being on the ground, being standing, being squatting, in this position, my knees are as close together as possible, as close to the floor as possible without going onto the floor, my toes are bending, my hand is flat, my shoulders go back. Downward dog kind of position, stretching out my calves especially. Breathing as I move, incorporating some of that from yoga especially. Movement with breathing. And slowing myself down all the way back to the floor. Basically back to where I started. everything feel looser, more pliable, more relaxed, more open, more energized, more liberated, more free. And remember, you can move multiple things in one position. So here, 
shoulders and hips. Go back through some of the same positions already done. See how, go through a few rounds, opening your body up, repeating some of the same movements. Makes things feel different. Neck is something that we under stretch and under move, not just front and back, but around. Doing this stretch, I'm stretching through the front of my shoulders, my biceps, my wrists. engaging some of my upper body as well. Here, notice I'm turning my toes up. I'm gonna do some rotation, all right? So this rotation, working all the way from my toes into my hips, stabilizing through my elbows, my triceps, my shoulders, my chest, and opening. Now I'm gonna pull together real quick. Relax. Again, re-elongating some of the tension that tends to build up around the knee area. Get up, back, open the hips back up. Any muscular tightness that's a counter of one exercise, we want to balance with another exercise. Hands to front. Back same position. Knees together, feet together, other side. Tilting my head here adds a whole other element. That position. So just going this way now. My left heel completely flat, my right heel down, my toes to the sky. Come, stay low, same thing. Hips drop. Now, inside my knee, anyone who's familiar or trained capoeira will recognize this as position setting up melody compass. But right now, we're just using for stretch. Come back to front, balance. Stretch one leg. Stretch out it. Move around, whatever way feels good. Remember, you want to get full and different rotations. Make sure we're releasing in the calves, as well as the hips, knees. And now bring same position onto the floor. Again, this is something you can do any point in your day. It doesn't have to be, you know, after working out, before working out. You can do 15, 10 minutes, 5 minutes. It's going to make you feel better.
Five minutes, well, two minutes, one minute, 30 seconds. Gotta make him feel better. Make him feel better. And then 30 seconds tends to turn into a minute. 30 seconds turns into two minutes. Two minutes to five. Come on back, the hip rotation. Open, throughout your hips. They get so tight from compression. Standing, sitting, not bending, not rotating. Back to this little deep lunge inside your leg position. I don't know what, what you want to call it. I need a name for this position. Somebody give me a name for this position. Two hands on the floor now. Stretching deep into my head. Turn over your foot. Two hands out, one hand outside, other hand, other side of your foot. And try to look up here. Rotate shoulders back. Take the pressure out of the front of your shoulders. Push back. Come forward. Push back. Come forward. And then we got to do this side. side to side, your shoulders, loosening everything up, now, just a different way to move into another position, one, two, and back, and around the shoulders. My neck loosening. Right now my goal is loosening. My goal is opening. My goal is relaxation of the body. My goal is to improve my physique, my physical body by not always pushing to 100% capacity in every training session. It's sometimes to do things to help recovery. If you can see in the camera at all, a lot of veins are coming out. That means there's blood flow. To those muscles. Blood flow means oxygen. Blood flow means nutrients. It doesn't matter what you're eating if you're not getting nutrients into your into your muscles where they need to go. So do cold water. That can be Russian showers or Russian baths, going from hot to cold. That can be going into a sauna or a hot tub. That can be using ice packs. Anything that gets your heart rate up is going to stimulate blood flow. You can do, you can increase your heart rate without doing exercise. Even just going outside if you live in Las Vegas or if you're anywhere pretty much by in the summer right now. So now I'm just gonna do a few things, stretch out my hips a little bit more, but from standing. So this is not tree pose or anything like that. I'm actually active. It's to stretch my left leg. Okay, and then without putting it on the floor, I'm just going to grab from behind to a quad stretch. Notice that I'm grabbing with two hands and pulling my shoulders back and my knees together. Okay, now I'm going to go right back where I was. I haven't put the, the foot on the floor yet. Then I'm going to bring the knee in. All the way in. Rotating my foot one way, other way, and then out. Now this could look like something from yoga too, but I'm just doing it as a stretch. I'm not just I'm not focused on the balance right now. Yes, I'm balancing. Rotation of my hip, of my knee, from my foot into my hip. Take it back into a quad stretch. Now, my left calf, my left knee, my left quadricep. Take it back into external rotation of my hip, my knee, my ankle. Now, 
upright, staying upright, working on straightening out my knee, balancing my body and outside. So, just some ideas, okay? I'm going to make a little bit more dynamic now. And... Um, a little bit more movement based. So that was more of my stretching. Um, I did about 10 minutes there and I'm going to do about 10 more minutes real quick uh, just move a little bit more movement. So hope you guys can watch, keep up, learn a few things and it helps you comment for me next time um, what you'd like to see. But notice that the pace at which I'm changing my positions, depending on how tight I am, <laughs> is going to change a lot faster. of motion, figuring out where my range of motion can go to, where I have stability, where I don't. Find the point where you lack stability and work that point. Working my jing of capoeira, good basic step for anyone who wants to just learn some basic movement. Jing, one foot back, one foot forward. Opposite arm up, protect your face. One leg forward, bent, one leg back on your toes. Opposite arm to leg in the front. Step through, make a two, hold it, look. So just some basic movement, like I said. beyond where I'm at right now. And that's fine. That's why we train. Start with the first stuff, move up to the second, the third, the fourth. Gonna play with the box a little bit here. Great tool for anyone who likes to do some different things. You can use a box for a lot of things. Most people are familiar with like box jumps, but there's a lot you can do with a box. This is one of my favorites. Set up on any of the three sides, wherever you're comfortable. Maybe start on the heights. Okay, make sure whichever foot you go first, other foot second. points so you know what they feel like. If doing handstands is hard for you, it's a very good exercise to build up your handstand. Switch whichever foot landed, land the other one. Try to keep one off, not landing. If you don't go up all the way, that's fine. Go again, chin to your chest. Good. You guys try it at home. Put a comment. Love to know. Go back to your stretch. Go back to your starting position. 
Boosting everything back up. We're gonna do about five more minutes. Make sure I get in some abdominal. And some bridge. That was a good warm up for our bridge. Now I'm gonna just do some quick abdominal. Okay? Main thing here is elbow to knee. Elbow to knee. Short, explosive breath. So I'm gonna be doing 30. Each position, I'm in. So it's all about right here. Put it in so you can get it out. It's, when you feel good, you're gonna do things that are good for you. It's just what's gonna happen. I don't know what the count was, but. I'll go to 30, and I'll kinda <laughs> die a lot. Working on the side, my left foot over top is flat, my right leg is bent, my shoulders coming off the floor, my hands staying behind my head, while my elbows staying out. Okay, other side. Left foot is flat, right leg is over, right foot is flat. Getting the oblique and the side of the abdomen. Okay, you get a different experience on your left and on your right. They're both working. Try to face up, square your chest to the ceiling as much as possible. Short breath. Good. Hands, just my thumbs, under my hips. Just quick, explosive. I'm not worried about how far I'm going, but I want to go fast. Have your head up, but probably better right now. Just keep your head on the floor to relax your neck and shoulder muscles. We really want to focus more on that abdominal. Good. Now, side again. Left leg over top, all the way out, right on down on the floor. He's just dirty. your chest, keep your head facing up, don't look your knees.
Relax fully. Deep breaths. Push up. Come out, kick up. Switch side. When you kick up, it helps release the hip. Deep stretch, deep breaths. Get all the way to head of the foot. Push up. Release the hip. You can put your knees down. Sit on the one more time. Feet together. So I think we're about just at 20 minutes. Next. So that could be my warm up. That could be my cool down. Or it could just be something I do in the middle of my, my day, something in my evening, something at my office, something when I wake up in the morning. It could be anything. It could, it's, it's basically what you want it to be. I hope that you can take something from it. Look, my water's empty. Come on now. So. Again, I hope uh, hope you guys enjoy what I shared today. Um, this is what I love to do. And I had a, a guy over here today who's doing an internship for me um, as video. Uh, and, and a lot of that when I have interns is how much I can coach them, how much I can teach them. And one of the things that I'm learning is that by, by teaching, you know, you learn. It's, it's do what you want to do so you can be who you want to be. And if you're just doing it, if you're just putting it out there, if you're just creating it, you know, eventually, basically, like, it's gonna come. It's gonna come, there's no other way. There's no other way, like, to think anything else, you're, you're, you're lying to yourself, you know? Like, just put it out there. People don't even tell you that they're watching until they tell you, <laughs> until you know. So, create it, um, enjoy it, do, what you what you know people know when, when it's fun and hopefully you guys can see that I love this stuff it's just fun for me and uh, and I know that it, that it's infinite in terms of when I put this out there the return that comes you know so thank you guys for being an audience and uh,